question is, shall the bill pass? The chair recognizes Representative Powell. Mr. Speaker, I move to amend with Amendment 1594. The chair has the amendment. The amendment appears to be in order. The representative may proceed. Wonderful. The Save Women's Sports Act is a fairness issue for women to be able to achieve their dreams and athletics in our state. And it's crucial to preserving women's rights and the integrity of women's and girls' sports. Across our country, female athletes are currently losing scholarships, opportunities, medals, education, and training opportunities. This amendment will require schools that are part of the OHSAA to de designate separate teams for participants of the biological sex. No school, inter no school interscholastic conference or organization that regulates interscholastics shall permit biological males to participate on athletic team or an athletic competition designated only for biological female participants. Currently, OHSAA allows biological males to compete against biological females if they either completed a year of hormone therapy, demonstrated they do not possess physical state what rule, constitutional provision, or statute has been violated. What, what, who is raising the point of order? Representative House? Okay. What, what is your point of order? Thank you. Pursuant to rule, push the went to rule 101, move to the previous question, and shall the debate now close? She has not been recognized for a motion. No, you made a point of um, it was a point, point, of point of order. Of order. Mm -hmm. Another member has all been ready, been recognized, and is speaking. And she was a, it, was, it, was, it was an objection. It was an objection. Or statute has been violated. There was an objection. If she what, she's out of there was an objection. What, what rule? Constitutional provision or statute, or statute has been violated. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I said pursuant to Rule 101, which we filed the paper to call to the previous question. That, that, that motion has not you, We already filed. You, you have to be recognized for a motion before that is. Just filing the paper is not the motion. It's support for a motion. I recognize Representative Powell. She is in the mo in, 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 make, in the middle of making her uh, uh, remarks in support of the amendment. So the, que the, so the question will be on the amendment, and I will recognize you when she is finished speaking. Currently, OHSAA allows biological males to compete against biological females if they either, one, have completed a year of hormone therapy, or two, demonstrated that they do not possess physical or physiological advantages over biological males. Unfortunately, these policies have been enacted in other states and resulted in biological males winning in girls' sports. These policies are obviously not the solution to this problem, and girls need further protection in our state. In addition, for the few individuals who are born intersex, their ability to compete will not be hindered by this bill. We want everyone to be able to compete in athletics in the state of Ohio. And the beauty of this bill is that we're including everyone in sports, but we are just trying to uphold the integrity for, of women's sports for every little girl in the state of Ohio. The reason we have women's sports divisions is because biological males have physical and biological advantages over females. Biological males possess many physiological advantages over females, including greater lung capacity, larger hearts, higher red blood cell counts, stronger tendons and ligaments, greater muscle strength, and increased, increased bone density. One of, the issue, one of the reasons I'm passionate about this issue is that we cannot allow little girls' dreams being ripped away by biological males stealing their opportunities. This is something that we've seen around the nation happening in the last couple years in our state. And that's why I'm excited about moving forward on this piece of legislation, because to every little girl in our state that's looking to start fall um, sports this fall, they're looking and saying, is the Ohio legislature going to stand up for me and protect the integrity of women's sports in our state? And to my colleagues, I urge you to vote yes on this amendment and to leadership. Thank you very much.